Since 1912, Seventh-day Adventist church members have supported a special mission offering called the 13th Sabbath Offering. Although it's only part of the offerings that support mission work worldwide, your support of this offering has helped touch countless lives through schools, clinics, churches, literature, and other mission projects. The city of Kazan is considered Russia's third capital and the only sports capital of the country. This multi-ethnic city is honored by UNESCO and famous for Muslims and Christians living side by side in peace. This is a territory where beautiful mosques were erected. There are approximately 55 magnificent buildings. One of them is the Kul Sharif that sits inside of the Kremlin walls. The Tatarstan people here are accustomed to such sights of grandeur. But as they come into the rented space of a Seventh-day Adventist church, the people find a very different picture. The members of this simple church travel from far to reach this location. When they come, they are welcomed into the warm building and gladly worship together. Here they sing hymns to praise God and spend quality time in groups examining the quarterly Sabbath school lesson. They are treated to choir music and they pray with one another. The children also have a space for themselves to learn the precious life lessons of the Bible. Although just a table in a cluttered room, they have a chance to interact and build character here. There is room for all ages in this Adventist community. Today, Albina is visiting the church again. She was invited by her friend Timur. Timur believes the Bible has well outlined how we should conduct ourselves, and he isn't afraid to live out his conviction. I think that people can see in my life the difference from others. Most of the people smoke and drink and do other bad things. So when they see that I don't do such things, they begin to ask why I am different and ask questions about the church that has made a difference in my life. Timur's deportment sparked interest in Albina, who was searching for answers. Through his invitation, she began attending this church. I like coming to this church because I love to sing and I like to pray as well. Plus, there are a lot of kind and friendly people here. Albina plans to keep coming to church and has made known her desire to be baptized. As the church invites guests and studies the Bible with them, they are faced with a challenge. As you can see, there are many people in this hall. Many people are sitting outside. When we invite new people to study the Bible, we have to give the study right here, in this crowded room among all these old things. That's why we need a new building. Of course, we do outreach work outside the church, distributing literature and inviting people. But we also need to do some work inside the church. The leased apartment they are using is one of three churches in the city. Because two of the churches are rented, there is no guarantee that they can continue using this space indefinitely. In answer to these challenges, the pastors have acquired land in a prime location to hold services near the center of town and close to public transport. We chose this place because there is a metro. Also, there is a bus stop and train station. We are planning to build the church here and to hold different evangelistic programs and social programs to this new community. Now the members are praying for the funds to start building. The leaders here have big plans for the new church. This will also be a center of influence with many initiatives to connect with the community. Please pray that God will both establish this church physically and spiritually. Lviv is a city in western Ukraine that once was a major population center for business and culture. Now Lviv is full of history, long-standing buildings, and sites that journey your mind many hundreds of years back. Lviv is also known for its many institutions of education, but until recently, it never had an Adventist school. It all started with the family of Alexander, who now is the principal of Lviv Adventist School. He and his wife would homeschool his two children and a friend. This was a nice little classroom at home. But the children grew lonely and wished for a Christian school and friends to play with. They soon decided to pray and ask their Heavenly Father. They prayed that God would provide them a school and many children to attend. Little did they know that this was no small request. 
Coincidentally, the same prayer was also in the heart of local conference administrators. And at the right time, Alexander was asked to start an Adventist school in this region. The leaders quickly realized that they needed a building for the school. So Alexander began to rally church members to pray for God's provision. Then conference administrators decided to move out of their conference building and donate it to become Lviv's first Seventh-day Adventist school. Everything happened so quickly, the children in the community were invited to attend. And at the turn of the year, the new school was opened. Here in Lviv Adventist School, the children learn their subjects with a wholesome approach. They gather each morning to hear Bible stories, sing songs, and pray that God will bless them to grow as fruitful people. In addition to regular classes, the children here have a chance to learn many different subjects like English, music, physical education, and they eat daily meals together. Now Lviv's leaders are praying again. They are asking God for another miracle. The children are growing, but want to continue studying here. There are also other children who want to enroll. There is only one solution, to acquire more space and extend the grades offered. Lviv Adventist is currently a primary school, and the goal is to purchase a plot of land and build rooms for secondary classes. But how can they raise the funds? It's important to remember that this school began with prayer and we continue to pray that the Lord will pave the way for this institution to expand. Prayer accomplishes much. Will you join this group in prayer and support of these projects? Beautiful children, sponge-like minds, and amazing parents and teachers. Here in Vinitsa, Ukraine, a Seventh-day Adventist kindergarten and primary school were established to train these eager minds. The students come to learn from books, but they also get to observe parents and teachers who go beyond their call of duty. In late 2012, the Vinitsa Adventist School started teaching in temporary rooms at the local Adventist church. This initiative was so successful that not much later the interest was overwhelming and the school staff had no choice but to purchase a new location. An unfinished building sat on the property and it was initially designed to be a school, but there was so much to be done. Without resources or funds, the church called on their pastors for help. And they came, 40 plus of them, to continue construction of the new school building. After the pastor's several weeks of work, the parents and teachers decided that it was their turn to build. So they did, and they plan to continue on and off until the building is finished. Every week, parents and teachers leave their regular work for an entire day to join hands in giving their children the best education they can have. And you know, the children understand it. They see the effort put forth, and they learn the value of service. There is one student who is especially excited for the new building. Her name is Dasha. She is currently attending Venitsa Adventist School, but this is the highest grade the school currently offers. Dasha deeply loves the school here, and she does not want to have to move. I really like the respect everyone shares for Jesus and the positive attitude of everyone here. I also like the way they teach the material and the classes here at school. Dasha's parents aren't Christians, but they are also excited about the opportunity for their daughter to continue studying here. This institution has changed Dasha's life. Before coming here, she faced a lot of hardship in public schools. Kids don't feel comfortable in public school, and they desire to study in Adventist school. Although there are a lot of qualified teachers in public school, oftentimes they don't share kids' religious worldview so they try to twist them and try to get them to believe very differently. Plus, even the little ones are forced to come to school on Saturday and have to explain themselves if they don't. The school administration is also searching for government accreditation. The only missing element now is the new location. Please pray for Venitsa's move and expansion. This quarter, your 13th Sabbath offering will support the construction of the church in Kazan, new schools in Vinitsa and Cherkasy in Ukraine. It will also expand schools in Lviv and Dnipropetrovsk and sponsor a center of influence in Belarus. It's through your prayers and financial support that projects like these continue to succeed. <laughs>